Hello everyone and welcome to this exciting video in which I'm going to finally try these products that I had here in this bag for a while. It's nothing from Dolce Gabbana, sadly. It's just a beautiful bag that I got from the shop because of the lovely lady there. And therefore, yeah, I uh, get to show off this beautiful bag to you. <laughs> Some of these products I've never tried in my life. So without further ado, ow, I've just hit my chin on the back. Let's start and let me show you what I have inside here. Primer. I don't even know what products to use first because there are so many exciting new things for me to try. Some I've never tried ever in my life. And I have this sample and I have another sample of this and I've never used it. And I thought this is the perfect video to do that because I have some by Terry products here. And therefore... I'm just gonna give it a go. I don't use primers normally because I think they don't do much. This is colorless and it says Hydra primer. So I think it hydrates. I'm supposed to understand that from the word Hydra. And it says here, no pores, no lines, invisible matte finish. It does feel velvety, I must say, and nice against the skin. Oh, it feels really, really luxurious, to be honest. Let me see, does it smell like anything? No. I am going to put it with my one of my pores are bigger, which is nose, around here, around there, and here. But I won't be able to contain myself, so I will put it under the eyes as well, since it says no lines, no pores, no lines, you know. I do like, you know, I could get used to this. I don't know how much it is, the full size of this, because I like it. And I don't use the whole thing either. It's tough. Uh, it's still product in here. So, okay, I put this on. I gave it time to sink in a bit and just rest on my face before I go in with the foundation and I happen to have a By Terry foundation, just one product like foundation from By Terry. it's a stick. So it's this one. This is so much I have left, so I suppose I really like this. So okay, I'm gonna apply the foundation, then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal concealer which I picked up because of my YouTube friend Julia, Julia Beauty, she has a YouTube channel as well, I will link it below just for you to check her out. She said this is a dupe, like in her opinion, it's just as good or mimics the efficiency that Pat McGrath concealers give you. So Pat McGrath concealer is my favorite concealer at the moment and I do have one in the shade L3. It has a yellow undertone to it. But today I'm gonna give this a try because I picked it up a few days ago and I'm so excited to use it if it's going to be just as good as Pat McGrath or mimic Pat McGrath. This is the foundation from By Terry again and you see it has like a line of highlighter and one of foundation. At least that's how I'm perceiving it. So it gives you a luminous glow for people that like a dewy look or a glowy look. This you might like. I don't know if I'm gonna pick one up again really. Uh, just because I do like a bit more coverage personally. I don't know. I'm not a fan of glowy too much. Not too much glow for me. But uh, I did enjoy this foundation. As you could see, I don't have much left. I have never tried to apply this foundation with the brush. I don't know what came over me. This is the Look Good Feel Better Multitasking brush that I have in here. And it's clean. So I thought I'll just pick this up because I cleaned some brushes recently. And I have them here next to me, a bunch of clean brushes. I didn't even correct my redness with my Maluville's um, camouflage cream that I like to use usually, just because I was lazy. I thought, even though this foundation doesn't give me much coverage, as I said, look, you see, it's like barely there. So if you like this type of stuff, you might like this foundation. I would say it's good for maybe combination skin or towards the dry. I'm just gonna try and pick it up like this and just build it a bit more here in the cheek area where I usually correct my redness. Now for the first time ever, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer that my friend Julia said is really good and it's in 1N, the shade that I picked. Ivory. I'm gonna use this uh, MAC 170 brush because it's dense and lovely for the concealer. I like it. I'm just gonna put a bit here. Ooh, nice shade. I am a fan of yellow undertone shades. It feels very nice. This one is so soft against the skin. I really like it so far. <laughs> Let's see when I stretch it in. Nice. I like it so far. And we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I'm just gonna want to put this here where I have the broken capillaries. I'm gonna blend this other side with my finger and see if I get what kind of result I get anyway. 
I think I get more coverage than with the brush because the brush absorbs from the product. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it feels high, it feels velvety, it feels smooth. And I do like the shade that I picked for me. Uh, it feels very sheer, like uh, maybe if you don't want your under eye area to be overcharged with concealer, this feels light and airy and fresh. I don't know how to ex explain it other than that. We'll see how it wears throughout the day and I'll let you know in the description below. below. A helicopter is coming sadly. I hate them. Now I'm gonna try this powder. I've never tried it. I want to set my face and look at this packaging. It just protects the shade and you can still see it in shop. I thought, oh, is this open or anything? So I'll try and remove it from here carefully. Oh, underneath. It has a sponge like that. Don't normally use these things, but on the go, of course, it's very useful. And now carefully remove it. This is in the shade 02 Nude. I will apply this with a little detailed brush. I like the packaging. I'm gonna set this. I never used a Milani powder before. This is my first. I've only used a um, blush from Milani. And it was a really nice brush that I had in the past. It was a peachy, shimmery type of blush that I really like. I picked up a bigger brush because I want to move faster with my powder. I just noticed now on my chest, I have this red little... Yesterday I've been in the sun. It was very sunny here in Scotland. And I was having SPF lotion on. But for some reason, I think I... I don't know, is this an allergy to something? I'm not sure. Because I woke up with it and it was a bit itchy and I've put some E45 lotion on already. But I think I reacted to something. It's just disturbing. I'm gonna button a button. I picked up this powder because it said the skin stays shine free, comfortable feel, buildable coverage, mattifying bamboo powder absorbs oil. Lily extract tightens the look of pores. I thought that sounds really good and I love the packaging as well. I'm a sucker for packaging. I sometimes get influenced by packaging as well. Not sometimes, most of the time. Are you the same? I really like pretty packaging. It's so it's beautiful sound. It just presses on the gold and just opens. Yeah, I like it. Now I don't know which one to use because I have the Physicians Formula bronzer uh, that in the shade I've never had it before. It's deep bronzer. I used to have the shade bronzer before but they didn't have that in stock when i picked this up so i thought oh this doesn't look much deeper than that too much deeper so but it is called deep bronzer and i want to try this on one side of my face and on the other side i'm going to try this now i'm a bit confused by this i'm not sure if this is a bronzer or what because it has the highlighter inside so i suppose you can use it as a highlighter separately and as a bronzer or as a glowy bronzer so i am gonna do that i'm gonna use it as a bronzer i'm gonna put the highlighter i'll see what i'll do and i'm gonna also use this because i'm very curious i'm gonna take brushes for these items first i'm gonna go in with the physician's formula because i just love physician's formula i'm very curious about this shade i'm gonna pick it up with the big brush it smells like coconut i like the smell of this stuff oh yeah, I mean, ooh, <laughs> it's dark, but not very dark. I am enjoying it. It's not too dark. I have a feeling that the By Terry one will be lighter than this. I do. I do think that, but I'll just skip this part of my face with this bronzer and do what I normally do with bronzer. Just take it down my neck, just a little bit like this. And I do like this shade because I don't have to work too much to build it up. Not that with the shade bronzer I had to too much. But I feel like this is a good shade as well. Immediately, that's it. I'm done. And I am going to also put on this side of my nose. And I also do here a bit as well on the lid. Okay, I'm going to use this by BH Cosmetics brush number 3. And I'm going to pick up just the bronzer. Oh my lord, look how much it picked up. Oh, okay, okay, what should I do? I'll just place it here like this. And try and distort, distort, blend the product. Oh, you can see it, I don't know. I somehow, I know these are quality. I mean, they have to be because they're quite pricey, isn't it, by Terry? But 
um, I didn't expect this much uh, pigment. Impressed. Yes, very, very nice. Let me see how I pick this up again very carefully. Definitely not as dark as the physician's formula. <sighs> oh my god. Sorry. I think I... Some of this powder must have went up my nose. I don't know if this is the best brush to, to pick this up. I'm very confused. This is the first time I ever used this product. And it's very finely milled, yes. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that it makes me sneeze. Why does it make me sneeze? Did I inhale this? It's not... Oh my god, it's barely there. You know, I don't know. I don't know about this. I do like when I put bronzer on to see it. And I am a pale person, so I do need bronzer. I'm going to use this Clarins one. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god, it's so shiny. Look how shiny I am here as well on my forehead. I don't want to be shiny there. Personally, if you want really sheer coverage uh, and just barely there as a bronzer, I don't know. This might be for you, but for me, I will use it because I spent money on it. But I'm not a big fan because, I mean, I, it might grow on me. So far as a first impression, I feel like I want more pigment on my face. I mean, maybe I didn't crack it yet, like decode it how I'm supposed to use this for me to like it more. But so far, I feel like I want a bit more. I do like the sun-kissed glow and not just sun-kissed, like really kissed by the sun. More kissed than that. <laughs> I am going to switch brush again. So I'm going to take the whole thing again. Oh my lord, I have to remember that this can be inhaled very easily. It starts to grow on me actually. I think the way to use it is definitely like that. And let's put on the side of my nose, just a bit here, here to make my lower lip kind of move forward, move forward, not move forward, like seem like it's a plumper. You know what? I like it. I like it when I use it like this and with this brush. It's a soft angled synthetic brush. I really liked it. And you can use it either alone here, you saw the pearlescent glow or like this. Yeah, it starts to grow on me and I love the design of this. It's just so old school i don't know you know when you used to see in magazines or in those 50s movies where a lady would powder their nose i love i love the design of this so now i'm gonna use this blush from physician's formula it's a butter blush in vintage vintage rouge i've never used the blush from physician's formula i'm very excited i picked this one up it looks like nothing in the pan so i am a bit nervous <laughs> but i'm gonna yeah use it okay Right, it looks like kind of like a blushy powder on. But when you swatch this actually and you build it up, it looks like a pale peach. And it's very soft, very buttery. So I have faith in this. So let's see. I'm going to put it just here. And I can barely see it. So I need to build this up a lot. I don't know why I picked this shade. I should have went to some other shade. If you want a blush that's barely there, this is a barely there makeup. It's turning into a no makeup makeup look, this uh, video actually. Maybe this is what I'm gonna call it because I didn't know what to expect. Okay, I just don't see it. On this side with the Physician's Formula bronzer, it looks a bit better, like they go together well uh, because they're from the same brand, you see? It's like they come together well as a barely there blush. And this is perfect actually for those looks, uh, eye looks that are bold. If you want a, a bit of blush but not to be too noticeable, this might be the thing. So if, let's say like that, if I cover, it's like a natural kind of look. And this one is more intense, uh, but not too intense, but compared to the other side. Um, I like both looks. I do. But I do think that personally i prefer this a bit more why is that let me know which side you prefer interesting what is my next product to use from my new stuff i'm gonna use the nude sticks brow thing i'm so curious to try this thing it comes in this box and it has a mirror on the lid here and basically you can use this 
on the go as well because it's good for traveling really you put stuff in here a few pencils lip pencils or stuff you see you have room in there and you also have this mirror that's good that they give you a whole box and this is in the shade that I picked in brown I heard good things about nude sticks brand from my youtube friend another youtube friend Tracy from the little makeup channel I'll link her channel underneath as well so you can check it out and yes I am excited to try this for the first time and what drawn me to this is the fact that it has a pencil at one end and you have a brow gel at the other and this is a clear brow gel and I love that because I always set my eyebrows and it just makes so much sense let's see I have some missing hairs here I hope this shade is right for me Ooh, it's quite soft not too soft it glides on so beautiful Ooh, no way I'm in love I'm in love but you still need a spoolie because by the time, I mean, obviously I'm not going to go with the clear gel to just disperse the color. So I need a spoolie for that. Usually I'm a fan that of pencils that have the spoolie at the other end. This has a, a spoolie at the other end, but it's with clear gel. Not that it's a bad thing, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll use a, a separate spoolie. Look at me trying to defend the product. I must really like it. Ooh, okay the shade is also quite good for me wow it's so beautiful okay first i will go with in the other eyebrow as well and then i'm gonna finish with the clear gel at the end i really like the pencil part it's beautiful I'm, i mean i really i really what do you think what do you think about the eyebrows do you think it did a good job i like it and now I'm going to use this gel side from the other side of the product. Nice. Look at that. I mean, this is so ingenious. Whoever thought of this, well done. Putting a pencil with a clear gel or any gel really, even if it's a colorful gel. But having the gel at the other side? No. That blew my mind when I seen it online. I was like, oh my god, this is so good for traveling. Because I am going to travel soon for just a few days. And I was thinking of products that are easy to, you know, carry. Not to take too much space and do a lot of things for me. And this does, you know, gives me the uh, filling in the sparse, sparse, not sparse. The, the hair where it's missing and also putting some gel on. I mean, that's just... Ooh. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna use this next eye uh, epic wear eyeliner in pure pure white. It's the shade. I have another one from Berry M that I kept on using in my short videos that I make for my Instagram. If you wanna check them out, I'll you have my Instagram account underneath if you wanna see. So I would put a base of white liner here above the lash line, like that, and then I would go in with a really bright neony color or bright colorful eyeshadow and it just it's like a base for any color really so it works well but uh one of my other youtube friends which is jackie from the channel jackie naturals and i'll link her channel underneath as well if you want to check her out um she she recommended this one i think she used the, the nyx one and when i've seen this and i was in town at the nyx counter i picked this up i picked this up because i thought yeah you know and jackie says good things about it, it stays on and I do like the white liner, usually. I'm still going to use the Betty M one as well. It's just that I'm going to put this... I think I'm going to put it in the waterline. Just to open up the eye. Wow! I forgot how wide the eyes become if you use this on the waterline. Because I haven't done it in so long. I mean, it can look a bit odd if... Um, I mean, does it look odd? Maybe, but I'm going to balance the look with some black uh, pencil on top because I have the Lancome one that I want to use. I just wanted to use this a little bit and see how it is. I'll see how it stays on. I mean, I don't know. It looks a bit odd with just no other makeup. Usually, as I said, I use this on top of the lash line and I put color on, but I'll just leave that on for now. I wanted to use it. And I have this Lancome 01 Noir, which is black in French, I think. <laughs> it is black it's a black pencil and i am gonna just put that at the lash line a little bit i will take a little brush to maneuver this product wherever i want it because yeah 
that's much much better and i'm gonna t maneuver i'm gonna maneuver how do you say that in english the control where this product goes just stretch it a bit up making a flick nice I'm, I'm not sure if i'm feeling it with the white liner i don't usually put on the water line i have a thing with putting stuff inside my eyes that's why I can put contact lenses in. I'm a glass, like I wear glasses. Uh, I'm a glass wearer, I wanted to say. And I couldn't make it happen with the contact lenses, which I would like to be able to wear. But because I have to put my something in the eye, my finger in the eye. And it was easier to remove them than to put them on. And I just couldn't do it. I tried so much. I have a thing with that. And I, yeah, I didn't... So therefore, I think I'm going to remove a bit from the white line that I put. I, even it causes me anxiety. I almost feel like dizzy just because I know I've put something inside my eye. Whew, it calmed down. So I'm going to continue with the other eye and do the same thing. Okay, it really did turn into a no makeup makeup look. I do like now how the white is seen. Uh, and I think I'm going to do this actually with the white a little bit kind of like that oh nice it's like the white is coming from the inside the eye it goes underneath the black line i hope this lancome uh, black pencil is gonna stay on well because i don't have a good experience with eye pencils from lancome uh the cream shadow sticks are a different story they're good they stay put but the pencils they kind of smear a bit usually so I'm just gonna see and put it in the description below how this went for me. It feels weird when I hold it because it's so tiny. I am gonna build it up because that's what I do with mascara anyway. I come back to each eye after I do the other one. I don't know, so far as a first impression for this mascara, I think my um, L'Oreal one does a better job than this. As a first impression, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep on going. I'll see the paradise the lash paradise one i'm talking about and even my maybelline colossal big shot one that i like so much and rave about in my channel do a better job but now that i'm building it up actually yeah it separates the lashes nicely and it elongates them but to be honest it's just as good as the other ones that i use personally i think the l'oreal colossal big shot shot and the l'oreal um lash paradise or paradise lash something like that it's called those two are really good mascaras super drug mascaras that are cheaper than this for sure and they do the job just as good i'm just being honest i'm gonna move into the by terry uh lip uh, stick lipstick click stick hybrid lipstick bold color impact contouring control i've never used uh, any lip product from by terry so i'm very curious it felt very buttery and soft and velvety when i've applied it on my hand so i'm very excited but the thing with this once uh, the product comes out uh, you can't put it back in so i have to be careful with clicking this uh, thing not too much because then you put the lid in uh, just use just enough amount uh, and I'm going to use this NYX lip pencil I think they would go well together I have mine in the shade nude beige look at the difference that uh, the lip pencil does to my lips and now this okay I'll leave it four clicks oh so soft wow I'm very impressed it feels very velvety soft and luxurious on and it goes so well with that lip pencil I just applied. I can't believe it. The smell reminds me of when I was a child and I would sniff my mother's lipsticks. Reminds me of that. I'm very impressed with it. Bloom Nude, number two. And I love how it says here. I, I love the packaging, uh, actually. On the hand, it looked more mauve -y, But on the lips, it looks quite brown. And I do enjoy that. Now I'm going to put this Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I didn't use it as a primer because I wanted to use the By Terry one to set everything. And this smells so good. Oh, It smells like a fruit. I don't even know what. Like a yellow melon. I'm not sure. Or melon with banana. I don't know. It's just very exotic fruit smells divine. Okay, I finished my makeup and I'm going to take these ears off. 
and I, I still have a product to show you, something that I picked up and it's a perfume. I'm not very good at describing perfumes to be honest. I do have um, quite a few perfumes in my collection but because in Scotland it's usually so cold I go for sweeter kind of fragrances and I wanted to switch a bit. I do have the Dolce Gabbana light blue in my collection. I use that when like I wear that when it's hot. We did have some really good days recently and this year, uh, this year, not year, year, uh, but I wanted something else and I think I ended up with something in between. So I'm talking about this a uh, drop this say, I don't know how to say it. As a description, it says a solar lilac accord enlightened by a musky note and an almond milk face. It looks so cute. Look at it. It's just so compact and lovely and you press here this like a silicon kind of portion and you just press like that and it spritzes when i first spray this on it reminds me of lilac and it does have that in the description and it has lilac and i just love the smell of lilac it takes me back to my childhood those big bushes of lilac purpley or white lilac I just love the smell of that in the summer. It just takes me back to memories from my childhood, from my life when I was younger. And that's the main reason for which I bought this. So basically when it opens it up, it, it does open up with lilac. And you can, after a few seconds, I can definitely smell a bit from the almond, which had a twist. And I thought, oh my God, it's not just floral, it has a bit of almond in as well. And yes, that musky kind of smell of sweet bitterness from the almond and the musky smell after the lilac opening. And I just fell in love with it. I thought, oh. But then after I left the shop, of course, this perfume settled on my hand where I've tested it. And it just smells sweeter and sweeter with time as time went on. And I thought, what have I done? Have I chosen another perfume that's sweet? But it's not really that sweet. It's just that it settles into a bit more sweetness than how it is when it opens up. But it's not sickening sweet. It's a good perfume for a fragrance for summer, for heat. But it is a bit on the sweet side, I would say. You know, it's not completely, it doesn't have that complete freshness vibe like the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue has. And I was initially looking for an alternative to that when I want to switcheroo a bit. A bit a bit I'm gonna apply it again I don't know if this red things is because I've applied perfume and I was already kind of irritated from the Sun but I'm gonna try and do it like that it's just not fair to you guys right now because you can't smell this picture smelling a lot of lilac that's exactly how this smells when it opens up oh that sweet fragrance of lilac it just makes me look at my eyes i'm like mesmerized the, i would also want to add that it's uh creamy it smells creamy like a, a, a lotion you put in the sun but not really just that it's a bit of a i can smell the almond as well the lilac settled down a bit now after about 10 seconds and I can sense a bit of vanilla and almond so a bit a creaminess like that to it and I just like that hard notes lilac orange blossom almond milk accord base notes musky accord upcycled cedarwood vanillin I forgot to mention that I also got the sample face mask with jasmine and lily healing mask it says so I would like to try this. It's just a sachet of it. I've never used a Chantecale product actually, not even makeup ever. So I'm curious to try this on, but I'm gonna have to make another video about this and review this and first impression and everything because if I like it, I might get it because it says healing mask. And who doesn't want to be healed? Let me know in the comments below if you have any of the products that I've mentioned or if you were thinking of picking any of these up and if this video helped, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Let me know what other videos you would like me to make. I, I'm always open for suggestions from you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!